Hello there guys and welcome to your 15th C++ tutorial. Today's tutorial is functions continuing, uh, continued, so it's functions 2. Uh, let's go right ahead and start, get it, go ahead and get started. Today we'll basically have a double uh, type variable, uh, double type function, so we'll actually uh, want to return everything which is a little bit more complex than a void. But so let's go ahead and get started go ahead and open the source file if you don't have it pause the video create a new project by click on the source files folder and add a new source file and then go ahead and type what what you see on the screen and then start the video all right what we want to do now if you remember from our previous tutorial we actually like we typed the uh, void display message now we're going to type double this is a return type double function and we'll call it uh, div standing for divide and this will have two parameters there will be double variables one will be x and one will be double the other one will be y so that's our function prototype as you can remember from our previous tutorial we create prototypes to keep the, the help us keep um, track of things down here we'll type the exact same thing as we did up there that's going to type double x double y And what we want to do, uh, I, I name it div because I'll, all I'll do is just divide uh, x by y. So what we're going to do inside of here, type return x divided by y. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll just type the code for now and then we'll go over it uh, very, very quickly. I mean, so let's go right ahead. Inside our main function, we want to declare a couple of double variables. We we'll call it double x and we're going to initialize them to a value. Then we, in our later on tutorials will actually uh, get the user's input and then perform some tests on those but now we're just gonna give uh, we're gonna initialize it I'll just give it the value um, 3 3.0 which is the same as 3 uh, double I'll initialize the y as well and call it I'll make it a 5 5.0 and then we'll declare no, uh, and we we'll declare another variable, double, and we we'll call it answer. A and S standing for answer. We won't initialize it to anything. If you remember from our previous story, uh, in for us to uh, in order for us to call the function in the main, we just type the, the name of the function. In this case, we'll set we'll type A and S equals div. And as you see up here, div has two double parameters, x and y. So we have to enter in here x and y. What this will do because um, if we execute the program the only thing that will be executed is what's inside the main function so in here we have x initialized to 3 and y initialized to 5 so what this will do is basically inside the div function here is going to place a 3.0 and a 5.0 and pass it on down here that's why you put x and y in here and we need to set, uh, uh, we need to basically set answer equal to that because Whatever we're going to get from dividing down here x and y, we want to store it to answers so we can display it out to the user. So we can tell them C out and we type a simple message here. I'll type uh, the answer equals and then I'll just answer and then put an end line there. All right, let's go over the code quickly. We declare the function prototype. Uh, with the return uh, with the return type double and we have here um, two parameters he has the x uh, a double parameter x and a double par parameter y then down here we basically define the body of the function we define a function so what we did is all we want to do is basically divide the x by the y and then return the answer so uh, inside the main, we, we declared three variables. We initialized two of them, x and y. x was 3.0 and y is 5.0. And answer, we, didn't, we did not initialize it. Then what we did, we set the answer equal to our function. So whatever our function gives us, so whatever x divided by y is, which in our case is 3.0 divided by 5. So if we, in this case, we are, uh, and our div, uh, function here has two parameters x and y which we actually declared here to be 3.0 and not 5.0 so 
so what this will do is basically put 3.0 right here and 5.0 right here pass it on down here in the function and then the function will divide 3.0 by uh, 5.0 and then it will return that back up here and set answer equal to the answer that we got down here then we'll just display the answer which is whatever we got down here and display it to the user so let's go ahead and build this project this is fairly easy too so I mean if you have any questions you can leave a comment but it's fairly easy so let's go right ahead and build this okay it was built let me run it so if we run it we should just get the answer is uh, whatever we get here I think it's 0 0.6 should be 0 0.6 all right let's see what we get yes we get the answer equals 0 0.6 we got what we expected okay guys so that was a little bit more complex tutorial on functions later uh, next tutorial we'll talk about getting user inputs and, and basically performing some tasks some calculation and displaying an output uh, guys go please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already check out all my other videos and please 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 uh, subscribe and if you need the help just leave a comment or send me a message if something doesn't go uh, some I mean if you get any errors and something like that so thank you for watching and please check out all my videos and subscribe. Thank you guys.